I just got on the flight to go see my bestie Heather in Atlanta. I cannot wait to get this party started. Oh my gosh, I'm here! Oh my god! Let's go get Domino's! Let's get, let's get Domino's. Trying to find the good light in the car. Heather's getting Domino's pizza. She's picking it up right now. I thought I would quickly try to tell you what a nightmare of a travel situation today was. Today was an actual monsoon in New York City. I've never seen anything like it, truly. Um, people were waiting around in the streets. The water was pooled everywhere. It was bananas. Uh, usually it takes me little to no time to get to LaGuardia in a car. And I didn't realize what a monsoon it was. I was like, oh, it's raining. No. No, 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 not just raining, a monsoon. I really lucked out with my driver. I took Via and I think his name was Anthony. So I don't know if Anthony's out there somewhere, you're an actual angel person. Heather's actually here. So I'm gonna tell the rest of the story later, but stay tuned. So I'm back with the rest of that story. Actually, I kind of feel like I'm Marco Poloing with you guys right now. This is basically how I Marco Polo. I just walk through the streets looking like a crazy person. Back to Anthony, the most amazing driver I've ever had in New York City. He got me there so quickly. I was absolutely blown away. I was like jittery. I was nervous. I was convinced like I was going to have to go back home. Nope. He got me to that frontier gate and he even went the extra step. No one has ever done this. And he took my luggage out of the back, told me to go inside the airport. He didn't want me to get wet. And then he rolled my luggage into the airport for me. And then he was like, go, go. It was very touching and very dramatic. Okay, so I go over to the Frontier ticketing desk. There's no one there. It's an actual ghost town. I found some poor girl who worked for Spirit Airlines. And I was like, listen, I know I know you don't work for Frontier, but I am about to miss my flight and I'm kind of desperate. Is there anyone who can help me? So she procures just a Frontier agent from the back who may or may not have been on their break. I don't know. And she's like, you're gonna be fine. I'm gonna put you right through and the plane hasn't even gotten to the gate. You will be fine. Excuse me, just let me dab the sweat from my upper lip. Like five people in security let me go in front of them because I obviously look completely frantic like I'm about to miss a flight. But wait, there's another part to this overall pretty much nightmare of a day. I get on the plane and we sit on the runway for what I believe was about an hour and 20 minutes. I had to pee, okay? And when I say I had to pee, it wasn't just a casual situation. This was a panic mode situation. I was holding it until we got up in the air, but me, along with several other people, were in dire straits. The situation sucked because we are waiting to take off and every time someone stands up, they like can't take off. But that's how bad it was. That was how bad I had to go. So I was just like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I, I have no choice. So I hightailed it back to the restroom and there was quite possibly, no, I'm gonna say it, the saltiest flight attendant that I have ever come into contact with, strapped in, ready to go. He was so so annoyed that I had to go to the bathroom. And then he got on the freaking intercom and he was like, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I just like everyone to know that if you're standing, we can't take off. So if everyone who's standing could please sit down, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. And like dramatically hung it up. He was literally like inches away from me and I turned to him and I was like, sir, this is an emergency. If it wasn't an emergency, I can guarantee you I wouldn't be up here. He was so sassy and he was like, <laughs> Okay. Like that. Like overly familiar. Like we're in like a 25 year relationship with each other. I was like, I just want you to know that I have to pee so badly that I'm actually considering going in a water bottle. And he was like, well, I don't want you to do that. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure you don't. So then I'm going to need to use the restroom. And then he's like, 
I don't mean to be a smart ass, I really don't. I'm just asking a question, but were there no like restrooms in the airport? Were they broken? Did something happen? I was like, sir, I actually don't know because I had a very harrowing journey here and I almost missed my flight. So I don't know what to tell you. And he was like, oh, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you made it. Are you? Don't you try to be nice to me now. I mean, I didn't say that, but I thought about it. Anyway, that's all to say thank you so much to all the angel people I encountered yesterday, except for the flight attendant on Frontier, who was very salty. Chicken wings with hot sauce. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Munster cheese, cheddar cheese. This is Brie Adjacent. Brie Adjacent is my the name of my album. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. What's the yes. best angle? Oh, that was that's really good. good. But, yeah, that was good. That but was I don't good. think you can eat that way. You're also, your head is kind of blending in with the blinds behind oh. you. No. So, yeah, so you Stop it. Screen. All right. Okay, all right. go okay. away. You're okay. over directing now. Okay. What are, you, what are you having? Okay, so I'm having this wickle pickle thing you're talking about, right? Yeah. It's it's a cracker with Munster cheese and a wickle pickle. And this is a southern pickle. Okay. I'm going to try it. Make it happen. No? I'm angry. No, oh, I'm angry. Good. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh. The saltiness of the Munster, the tangy, spicy sweetness it of the pickle. It is tangy. That's the word. And the crunch of the cracker. Oh, yeah. Different it's crunches. Different crunch. Is it a run, do not walk situation? It is. We should have a cooking show. So we're on our way to Murder Kroger, which is on the Beltline. It's a murder it's Kroger? A, it's a murder Kroger. The first one, uh -huh. there were like five people that got shot oh my God. in the parking lot and inside. Oh, and then wow. the second one, there were like three people shot at the deli. I don't remember what? all the specifics, okay. but a lot of people got murdered at this Kroger. Shit. Hence, Murder Kroger. fanciest, hippest cro Kroger I've ever seen. So Heather and I realized that we're literally wearing almost the exact same thing. <laughs> it looked more severe, but I tilted down at us and it's really... <laughs> wow, it's, it's um, disturbing, actually. Like we're, we're in morning, but very summery. Okay, here we go. Guys, we don't mess around, okay? We just don't mess around. dinner for the storico ooh italian Yeah. So what's happened? 
is that the place we went to have dinner at, their kitchen closed. So we had to come here, and the bartender's obsessed with us, and he loves us, and he gave us a shot, so we're gonna have a shot. Should we have it? Oh. We're drinking, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a cava from Trader um, Joe's. So oh, we yeah. were drunk. We were. So there was like a peanut gallery to my right, a man. He intervenes. Like he's like watch over there like with binoculars, like watching my interaction, like a psycho, I guess. And he was like, you don't remember your friend's name. And I was like, she's my friend of 20 years and I'm a little tipsy, so no. And he's like, oh, is that what it is? <laughs> That's what they do. They're like inappropriate and you're like, excuse me? No. And they're like, whoa, Don't get offended. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I can't believe how quick men can be horrible in such a short period of time. We're gonna pull out some old pictures from college. We did a lot of shows together where we played old crazy women. So well, I think this, sure one, gonna... this one's just fun because we look so not ourselves in these. Oh my God. Oh my God. We look crazed. Uh, we do look crazed. Crazed. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> vlog shit people are so annoying like they think I'm filming them they like get all awkward and like don't know how to act I'm like I'm not filming you I mean sometimes I'm filming them but but mostly I'm just trying to get like a good shot and so everyone calm down first of all we are having the boss time on this brewery tour we're having amazing brews they're chilled they're delicious we're having incredible food what more could you ask for in Atlanta on a hot summer day I ask you concerts were and yeah. my first concert was Brian Adams yes, when I yes. was 10. We are on our way to Lake Lanier, right? right? This is the haunted lake. So you're telling me that we're gonna be swimming with a bunch of where people died. That's what you're telling me. Uh, lots of people died and they flooded a whole town to make the lake. So it's it's like you're just on top of like a town when you're there. Oh wow. Yeah. That's 
horrific. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty haunted. It turns out that um, the rain is really, really bad, so we can't go to the lake. Really should have kept a closer eye on that earlier in the day. It's okay. Before we took a 50 minute drive. The clouds are just very ominous and it's just not gonna happen. So Heather found us an awesome, cute little like bar to go to. So we'll, we're gonna we'll, go. We'll, we'll see. Well, we'll we, see. We hope. Yeah. It better fucking be. like really cool kind of alehouse brewery and there's literally nobody here like we're starting to feel like maybe we some stumbled onto like a cult town or something the next thing you know it's gonna be midsummer and we're gonna be in a cult we didn't go to the lake today as we know we just swamp we went to that bar and then we came home and now we're masking yeah. this is a turmeric and vitamin C mask, and it's really tingles. Mm -hmm, really warm. Oh, and it was two pieces. And it's, it's two a top pieces. and a bottom piece. I'm not sure what that's about. Like, I don't know what that was supposed to be easier or something. I, I didn't find it t to be that way. No. Or like fits better. Heather, this is it. You're taking me to the airport. Fortunately, it's been such a good, like, flawless time, though. It really has. Well, flawless in air quotes, but we've made it. <laughs> Perfect. We've been in so many things. It was the best. It's been a goddamn delight. It really has. So I am at this really, really legit bar restaurant at the Atlanta airport called Chicken and Beer. I'm having this delicious beer. It's delicious yet sad because I'm leaving. Heather is like the consummate host. She just gets it. She just gets it. That's why she's my best friend. I love Atlanta. There's like so many different areas. Every day was a different experience. It was so, so awesome. Here's to Heather and ATL.